In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal reward. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless? and have as my heir the steward of my house, Eliezer. Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, and so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. The Lord took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abraham, Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. The Lord took note of Sarah as he had said he would, and did for her, as he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time that God had stated. Abraham gave the name Isaac to his son, to this son of his, whom Sarah bore him. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, by faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an, as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was to go. By faith he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Alleluia, Alleluia, of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. 
From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb, shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, she was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have a microphone on. This Sunday, we celebrate the feast dedicated to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We all call it the Feast of the Holy Family. 
like most human families, this holiness also had to deal with its trials and difficulties, as any family knows. In fact, in today's gospel, Simeon tells Mary that she will be pierced with a sword of sorrow and that her son will be a sign of contradiction. If we think about it, Mary must have had very difficult time in seeing the controversy that was caught up by her son. She must have been heartsick to see how the official people in Israel opposed him and what pain she must have experienced when she saw her son crucified on a cross. In light of all this, we sometimes give a title to Mary as Our Lady of Sorrows. In fact, our little chapel out there at the cemetery, that's our patron, Our Lady of Sorrows. And she had to wait through many trials and difficulties in her life before God's will in her was fulfilled. In our gospel today, Simeon and Anna also have to wait a long lifetime before God's promise to them is fulfilled. Today we hear Simeon pray, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace. He simply says, Now I can die in peace, for I have seen the Messiah. That spirit was promised to the Lord, to, to Simeon in his youth. And here at the end of his life, he finally finds it fulfilled. Not long ago, I was in a seed and feed store in town, and I saw a sign painted that said, If you want tomatoes for dinner tomorrow, it will do little good to plant the seed tonight. We all know that it takes seeds time to grow. There are long stretches of darkness and time when there's silence as the plant seems to be growing. And during that time, the farmer has to work hard, cultivating and weeding, watering and nurturing the seed. And only then does the seed produce a, a plant for our tables. In our families, God has planted a wonderful seed in our lives. For mothers and fathers, for sons and daughters, it's the seed to become holy. It's the same seed that is planted here in the monastic family, the seed to become holy. As you and I strive for that holiness, we recognize that it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lifetime for that holiness to grow and to be accomplished. Like Our Lady of Sorrows, we too have to wait a long time through many trials and difficulties before the will of God is finally fulfilled in all of us. There may be periods of darkness and silence, but through it all, we must be confident that we wait in patience for the grace of God to do its wonder in each of our hearts. In the end, our confidence is that God's grace will indeed work a wonder in all of us, and that all of us in our families and in our lives will become holy. And when it comes to the end of our time, as it did for Simeon and for Anna, we will also hear the words that were spoken by Simeon. Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, 
the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, life from God, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became her. For our sake he was crucified under conscious fire. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scripture. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the world, that his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. In confidence, we now place our petitions before the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop Arsene, for Pope Francis, Bishop Rekha, Abbot Martin, and all the Holy Church of God, that we may reflect in this world the light of God's truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and for rulers in this and in every land, that they may honor the King of Kings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from illness, disaster, famine, war, and hatred, that they may know the love of God through all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the respect for every human person, from conception until natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the monks of St. Bernard Abbey, that they may honor the infant Christ in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whom God is calling to the religious life and the priesthood, that they may respond fully to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Especially St. Bernard monks and alumni, and all our deceased relatives, friends, and benefactors, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Benedict, Saint Scholastica, Saint Bernard, and all the saints, they may know the joyful peace of the newborn Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Again and again, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, as we celebrate this feast in honor of the Holy Family, make each of our families holy according to your grace. Hear these petitions and grant all according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary of God and St. Joseph, we may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernard and St. Benedict, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Take away the sins of God. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. O may, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Say